Hello insiders, news flash time. First one, there was a bug in studio where people were unable to switch accounts. We uh, found it, uh, fixed it, and so now it should be taken care of. Uh, next, there's an experiment, a 1% experiment in iOS, where if you're a viewer and you go to the subs feed, there's this uh, row of chips, these little um, indicators of channels that you subscribe to. And the way it works today is if you tap on them, it actually takes you to that channel page and then takes you to the video list of that channel page, the upload uploaded videos list. Um, with this experiment, when you tap on it, it'll just filter the subs feed to just the videos from that channel. So we think this is a win for viewers because it's a much more kind of seamless experience it's faster for them to go through more of their subscriptions and, and see what's going on. And we also think, uh, hope it'll be good for creators because uh, it should generate some more viewing. Um, but that's why we're running, running the experiment uh, at 1% and we'll see how that goes. Next, large watch on desktop. So if you're a viewer on desktop and you watch a video in full screen, you'll now be able to um, see comments, see watch next suggestions, uh, basically anything you would normally normally be able to do on the watch page and that kind of maps more closely to the latest uh, mobile experience when you watch something in full screen as well next uh, YouTube premium and YouTube music premium with family option are launching in a ton of new markets Japan Colombia Chile Peru Portugal and where we're shooting Switzerland and one thing that you may not know is that uh, you might be like, oh, well, whatever, YouTube Premium. But the more people that use YouTube Premium, the more revenue that can be shared with creators independent of brand suitability. So if I subscribe to YouTube Premium and I watch your video, uh, you will earn, and you're in the YouTube Partner Program, you will earn revenue um, based on my watching uh, of your video and uh, that's independent of whether your video is brand suitable or not. So it's a great way for creators to diversify their revenue. So we've got the brands, uh, uh, the advertising system, we got the YouTube premium rev share, and then we have all the new alternative monetization stuff that we're, we've been rolling out. Uh, next, known issues card. In the studio beta, on the dashboard, we've added a new card called known issues. And it's in response to feedback we've gotten from creators that in general says, hey, you know, I sometimes can't even keep track of if there's something going on at YouTube or I might see it on Twitter. I don't know if it's real or not or um, I might miss it. So now if you go to the YouTube Studio Beta on the dashboard, there'll be a known issues card that will be displayed if there's a major known issue affecting the platform. So I think before I shot this one, there was an issue about uh, YouTube playback on Nintendo Switch. So um, there's an example where you could find out that there is an issue, how to resolve it, uh, that we know about it, and then when the full fix has been implemented. So um, check it out if you haven't, only on the Studio Beta, not on Classic. No more uh, improvements come in Classic. So move over to the Studio Beta as soon as you can. Uh, next, classifiers. We've made a major improvement to the monetization classifier. This is the famous green yellow icon. As is our custom, I think we've been doing this every few months for the last year or year and a half. Uh, we take the appeals feedback and then we look at the human reviewer ratings and then we compare that to what the classifier uh, initially indicated and we use that information to train the classifier to get more and more accurate. And we've done that with this latest update. So we've improved accuracy and also uh, decreased volatility. So less flipping from color to color um, that you may have noticed in the past. Um, so out of 100 icons, about 10 fewer will have the yellow icon. So there'll be 10 more greens. There will be some that um, are more yellow than they would have been but um, there's definitely the biggest improvement is gonna be less yellows and more greens. Um, if you get yellow and you read our ads guidelines linked below 
and you're sure that we got it wrong, um, please continue to appeal. It then goes to human review. If the human reviewer agrees with you, then we can use that data to train the classifier and of course change the status of your video. Uh, that's it for this week. Hope that was helpful. In the meantime, keep it real. All right, still there, hopefully, at least some of you. Uh, movie quote time. So last news flash, the movie was Black Hawk Down, which is such a good movie, such a good movie. Um, and the first person to guess it was One List, One Life. I think One List, One Life has won before. So congrats on being the first. There was someone who was earlier than One List, One Life, but the comment was edited. So as we discussed in the previous news flash, we will recognize the first correct guess that is not edited. Um, because I don't think we have tracking history. We, we don't know what the edit was, and we don't want to um, encourage uh, people giving the movie after, after they've seen other people say it. Okay, for this week's movie, all right, I'm going to give you a couple hints. I don't know if I should because uh, I'm probably going to do this in a voice that will um, give it away. But I will give you one hint that this is probably one of the best movies. I have a sentimental weakness for my children, and I spoil them as you can see. They speak when they should listen. <laughs> All right, if you know that movie, put it in the comments. In the meantime, keep it real.